Grab two sheets of half inch plywood and we're gonna make the most epic Christmas decor. Print or draw your favorite tree silhouette and trace it out on a clear Ziploc bag. If you're good at freehand drawing, you can skip this step, but I like to follow a pattern. Once you have it traced out with a black or dark colored pen on your Ziploc bag, then you're gonna get a box and cut out a square so that the tree can fit in the square. We are making a DIY projector and I actually have two other YouTube videos on how to do this. So I'm gonna skip over some of the steps and I'll leave the links to those two other videos below if you want more details on the DIY projector. Basically, you just tape the plastic to the box, you put in a cell phone flashlight and you project it onto the wood. And now you can trace out the Christmas tree shape to be exactly how you want it. I ended up doing two and I just moved the box closer or further away to get a different sized trees. When you're done, you can turn the lights on to reveal your pencil marks. And then I just used a circular saw to cut off the extra top part of my board to make it an easier size to work with. Then I used a jigsaw to cut out all of the shapes of the branches. And I started doing this and then found it a lot easier if I used the jigsaw to cut around the tree shape. So it was smaller pieces going in and out between each branch, if that makes sense. A little tip with the jigsaw, the blade cuts on the upstroke. So the top side here, the cut will be a little bit rougher. So this is just gonna be the back side of my board. You'll know when you start cutting which side will look better for the back versus the front. I used 150 grit sandpaper and my orbital sander and gave a very, very quick sand on both the back side and the front side and the edges. Now we're gonna cut the stars. I hand drew them out and I used a one and a half or a one and a quarter inch drill bit. And I started drilling from the back side and then flipped it over and drilled the rest of the hole from the front side for a nice smooth hole. I used the jigsaw for the rest of the cutting. And again, I'm working with the back side facing up and you just put the blade in the hole and then do a triangle four different ways and you've got yourself a star. Once both trees are cut out and you can blow them off with a leaf blower like I do outside and then I swip them off inside and use a damp rag to wipe off again, including the edges front and back just to make sure they were really clean to prep for painting. I painted both sides, one coat on the back and then two coats on the front and I used an exterior white latex paint by Benjamin Moore. It's what we had for some outside house paint. So I'm just using that. You could also use a roller, it might make the process a little bit quicker, and then a brush for the edges, but I found it just as easy to use the brush and it covered really well. I secured a scrap two by four on the back side of the tree, and I just used my little square there at the bottom to make sure that it was square. And I put two screws in from the back side, and then I flipped it over and put two more screws in from the front side in different spots. And then after that is when I did the last coat of paint on the front so that it would go over top of the screws. That's not really necessary, but that's what I did. You'll notice on the bottom of the two by four, it's also cut into a triangle so that you can stick it into the ground. Easier. I grabbed these white outdoor mini lights from our local home hardware. I'll link some similar ones below. And then I just used a staple gun and I secured them to the back of the plywood. Just make sure that none of the lights are sticking out and the more lights, the better. This is what the trees look like during the day and at night. 
What do you guys think? I'm really happy with how this one turned out and I can't wait to see what you make. Make sure to tag me at Sobright Creations and click that subscribe button for more DIY.